Okay, then, uh, then welcome back to, um, to the Working Group 2 session of this afternoon. Um, before starting the presentations, I would just like to give a brief uh, overview of the past activities of the, of the Working Group and what is expected um, yeah, according to the Memorandum of Understanding. So objective of this Working Group was uh, to get a categorization of the available SHM technologies in regard to the measured quantities and the related structural performance. So um, goal was also to formulate a link between the measured quantities and the structural performance of interest uh, with consistent treatment of uncertainties and for, the, um, uh, for diverse application areas. So a milestone is um, the publication of the um, uh, categorization and information modeling as a cost report at the end of this year. Um, in order to do that, uh, we developed um, a scheme to position the various aspects um, of SHM strategies and structural performance in relation to life cycle asset management, uh, because we have uh, many different contributions, there are many different perspectives, uh, many different SHM technologies, um, different performance indicators for different structural types. And uh, with, uh, with that scheme, um, while well, we can have a collective view uh, of uh, pre presenting the diverse work that we have in this working group in a general context, and also showing the different ways to link um, uh, SHM with different aspects of performance. Um, so here is the here is that scheme <coughs> where we have um, yeah different performance uh, concepts, different performance indicators that go with these uh, performance concepts. Um, <coughs> measurements, uh, observations that we get from our SHM technologies. This, everything in um, relation to the different structural types um, for which we have uh, had presentations also. And uh, how this all goes together then into decision and actions for uh, life cycle assessment. The blue arrows that we have here, um, they refer mainly then to methods and tools uh, that are in link with uh, working group three. Um, so our activities until now, um, we have had presentations at all the workshops. Um, I think the slides are available on the COST website for these workshops. Out of these presentations, uh, we got a couple of papers and fact sheets. Um, some of them are already available on the COST website. The fact sheets will be published uh, soon, I guess. And uh, we've also organized a mini symposium at uh, the European Workshop of Structural Health Monitoring where we had um, yeah, 15 contributions from cost participants and uh, also external contributors to disseminate uh, uh, what we've been doing in the cost action. Um, so we got um, a couple of papers um, and a couple of fact sheets that covered um, yeah, different structural types. So we have uh, bridges, uh, performance on bridges, on masonry structures, dams, um, etc. We have different um, uh, monitoring techniques from vibration monitoring, corrosion monitoring, uh, thermal monitoring, way in motion and traffic monitoring, and yeah, other different aspects. Uh, so these are the presentations for today. So I would like to give the word to Jan Winkler for structural health monitoring using digital image correlation. So please go ahead.